also may be still, as I said, self-blocking because I am super mother of the world and that's my primary identification. And so I have to make sure that everybody gets taken care of and my own needs may not get met. So you cannot assume until you see what the life is doing. It may be a super baby looking for someone to take care of it or it may be a super mother taking care of the world in spite of the fact that we got two counts for letter one because we don't have the rest of the chart. And that might tip it the other direction. And anyway, it's still up to the person in the end. But the more times anything is said, of course, the more you get the message. So when you get the whole chart there, then you are going to be able to pick out a theme that may be said five or ten times in the chart, the same message over and over and over. So this is someone who's got to integrate her own identity, independence, self-reliance, stand on her own feet versus her need to be dependent or nurturant. She may deny the dependency, be unable to accept from anybody else, be unable to get close to anybody else, and she may sacrifice that inside of herself and be frustrated. And then she might have stomach problems because she couldn't let anybody take care of her. Couldn't let herself <laughs> express that dependency, need for emotional security side of her nature. How do you help a child deal with this? You have to, with anything where people are trying to make a change, you have to do it in small doses, little steps, creeping in that direction until they get more comfortable with it or less threatened. Uh, you're, you're dealing with the baby, though, and uh, how would you structure uh, their life, helping them to be independent and stand on their own feet? Depends on what they manifest, you know, where they're showing the problem, sure. If they're, if they're showing a... a the tendency to lack independence, then you just encourage independence in small doses. And if they're showing difficulty in accepting dependency role and the need to do everything themselves and not accept anyone else, then you encourage them developing that. And you react to it. Sure. Whatever they're demonstrating as the unresolved conflict, the way they're working it out, the way they're handling it, whatever they're neglecting, you encourage them to develop that side that they're not handling effectively. Mm -hmm. As far as I have the chart of a baby, eight months old, how do you do with the mother telling her how to raise the kid? <laughs> like they have the moon in Scorpio in the third, just because the babies are in the moon. I'm just thinking, what Well, we yeah. probably better stick to the combinations okay, we draw yeah, okay. and not do the hypothetical combinations. Maybe we'll draw a four eight combination later on. More of what I'm saying in later is maybe sometime this week you might do it. What do you do when you have a totally unformed person and you have a mother who wants to do the best like you? That? You yeah. just Love look at the understand. possible conflicts and the possible harmonies, and you discuss them in this way psychologically, oh, okay. so that she ha is, is helped to see what that uh, to watch out for that could be a danger and what to, to encourage the, its potential strength. So simple. Yeah, it is, it is absolutely simple once you're clear about the twelve sides of life. It really is. Like the, your your one your four twelve your four eight combination has a very bad name in astrology, the moon in Scorpio. And it doesn't have to be negative at all. Because they're both water and they're naturally trying. But astrologers go ape over moon in Scorpio. And all it is is putting together mother and mate. So it may mean a mother who is possessive and controlling and tries to act like a mate and hang on to the child when it should be grown and free <coughs> and be itself. And the mother may say, you know, I want a lifetime relationship and I want to hold on to you and keep you uh, as my uh, adult relationship. Or it may be the child clinging to the mother in that way. And the mother wishes she could get some, get loose and get free, and the child is hang attached to the mother and can't let loose. But if it's handled properly, the child and the mother can maintain a good relationship into adult life, can cooperate, without being swallowed up in each other. <coughs> and it can be, I've seen, I've known people who had been in Scorpio who had beautiful relationships with their mothers, where they were like, like partners, right on into the adult life, mutual respect and mutual sharing and mutual caring, but neither one tried to control or possess the other, which is the proper way to do Scorpio, but it's unfortunately not always done. <coughs> 